All right, guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of All About You. In today's video, we will be discussing the new cards that were released by Bandai in Colossal Warfare, which is Series 4. But before we start, I just want to have a few words about this game currently. Right now, there's a lot of talk. Many YouTubers, such as Matthew Combs and Eric Hill and a few others from the Hill Twins, and just in general, there is a worry in the community. And that has to do because some of us are not satisfied with what Bandai has been doing as far as competitive play. Now, one thing you guys have to understand is that wanting more and expecting bigger and better pricing for prestigious events, especially if Bandai wants to actually make Dragon Ball Super one of the best card games ever in general and in competition with the big three, as you guys already may know, we have Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Magic the Gathering, which are the top card games right now. And their price support system for those games are relatively good, especially when it comes down to Magic the Gathering and Pokemon. Right now, those are some of the top dogs when it comes to earning some kind of monetized pricing monetary pricing so this is my take on it i feel that bandai does need to pay attention to the competitive players yes some of you guys and girls may or you know you may say hey anthony is you know one of the guys whether you like me you don't you know he's one of the guys that's always going to all these regionals and all these big events and he kicks ass and, you know, of course he would want to make some money out of the game. Well, who wouldn't want to make some money out of something that they actually put in time and effort on? It's the same way with any job or even hobbies like gaming. Do you realize right now the gaming industry is blooming with opportunities to make money? Okay, so... CCGs right now are kind of behind when it comes for when it comes to success in generating income that is livable. Now, am I saying that this is what I'm expecting from this game? No, absolutely not. However, I do expect that my time and effort doesn't go, you know, doesn't go to waste. I don't want to be talking about how I enjoy Dragon Ball Super, but unfortunately, the company was unable to provide a setting for competitive play where that person or individuals who do well can't even come out with at least making their money back. If I travel and I support a game that I love and I'm spending a few hundred dollars just to travel across states to compete, even if, again, you don't like me or you feel like the game is just a game, you have to realize that people like myself and like the many that take this game on a more serious note, they're the driving force of the game in terms of when it comes to wanting to play. Like, when you see competitors in any sport competing and beating and dominating, that encourages more competition and encourages uh, a, a sense of belonging, a sense of, of just wanting to be the best or at least compete with the best. There's a sense of drive, and that is something that the competitive players can do. And that is what we have been doing for this game. Especially you guys and girls already know all the individuals that have been traveling. You see the same names pop up in the top tables and you see the same individuals kicking butt. 
You know, and the reality is, is because we are the individuals pouring a lot of money, not just only on product, but to be able to compete on a high level or creating a high level so that the atmosphere can be geared for that. But anyways, just my two cents. We are going to get on with the video. Bardock. Okay, guys. So first of all, he is a yellow leader. Hopefully they do this guy very good some justice. He has special trait Saiyan Goku's lineage. Era Bardock Sega. Skill. Activate main once per turn. Choose one card from your life and add it to your hand. Choose up to one of your opponent's rest mode battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and KO it. This is pretty nice. I already love this effect. You now can punish your opponent for attacking or utilizing any effects that can put their own characters in rest mode and use it against them. Bardock is a self-awakened leader, which we needed a Saiyan that was a self-awakened leader besides Vegeta. And he can punish you. He literally can KO three or less battle cards. That's great. And in conjunction with cards like Crusher Ball, you can set your opponent up, run Crusher Ball. They drop a threat that you want to get rid of. You crush a Ball and on your turn, you kill it off. Very good. When your life is at four or less... You may draw two cards and flip this card over. Now, damn, really cool. Uncontrollable Bardock. Okay, so this time his special trait changes. Saiyan, Great Ape, Goku's lineage. And, of course, the error is the same. And he's a 15k leader as opposed to a 10k leader. Auto, when this card attacks, draws, draw one card. Pretty standard, what we expect. Activate main once per turn. Choose one card from your life and add it to your hand. Choose up to one of your opponent's rest mode battle cards and KO it. Even better than the first side. Now he has access to KOing any rested card. So you gain a lot of value by preserving your life and utilizing his effect very strategically to get rid of threats on the board. As you guys all know, most cards that attack end up in rest mode and stay in rest mode until their turn again, until your opponent's next turn again. So this gives you an opportunity to get rid of big threats on the board, as long as they don't have barrier or indestructible, etc. Very good. I want to see more cards like this. This leader is exceptionally great. And I can easily give this leader 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, no problem. Moving forward. The next leader we have is Sun Goku. He has 10,000 power, as all standard leaders. Uh, special trait, Saiyan Goku's lineage. Era, King Piccolo Sega. Saga. Auto, when this card attacks a leader, you may choose one Goku lineage from your hand and place it in your drop area. If you do so, draw two cards. Okay, interesting. So he is able to see more cards. When your life is at four or less, you may choose up to two of your energy and switch them to active mode and flip this card over. So overall, this effect seems very good. Seems like great draw power. Filters this card pile so it'll help overwhelm and there might be a lot of utility with it in terms of just different cards that you can utilize i already like it we just need to find out what cards go along head to head with this goku's lineage now his flip side interesting uh sun goku of course era majin buu sega interesting 
When this card attacks, draw one card. Then choose up to one Goku's lineage in your battle area. This card and the chosen card gains 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. I like this. That means that on the offense, this leader is going to be hitting 20k. And one of the other battle cards are going to be hitting 5k stronger. Very good. Easily a respectable leader. We just have to see the support it has. But based on the effect alone, easily 7 to 8 out of 10. No problem. Moving forward. Gin or Jean here to support. All right. She has the same traits. She's a 15K battle card. Two drop, two yellow. So heavy on the yellow. I never, I don't really like cards that are heavy on the yellow, but if it has a good effect, it's okay with me. When you attack or combo with this card, if your leader is yellow, place up to three cards from the top of your deck into your drop area. So this effect is interesting. I don't know what other cards will that would have synergy other than Overrealm, so I'm eager to find out. This is very interesting because it gives you access to a lot of early cards. Early, Basically, you have early cards that will be sent to the drop zone. The problem that I already see with this card, unless there's some busted cards when they're sent from your deck to the discard or when they're sent to the discard pile in general, is that you have no control over what gets sent. Your super combos might be sent. Uh, other, other key cards could be sent that you really need and you don't want them in this card. So as of now, it's very hard to tell how good this card is going to be. So I like it. It has some flavor. But at this point, I would probably rate this a 5 or 6 out of 10. Potentially more of a 5 considering that in most case scenarios, this isn't the greatest. Unless you're setting up for a particular play. Moving forward, we have Abrupt Breakthrough Sun Goku. Okay, he is a 27,000 battle card. Interesting. 27. A very weird number. Hmm. It's a rare. It is 5 energy, 2 yellow. So, very strong for being a 5 cost. Special trait, Saiyan, Universe 7, Goku's lineage. Universe Survival, Sega. Saga. Swap 8. 4 yellow, Goku's lineage. With an energy cost of 8, play the specified card from your hand, then return this card to your hand. Barrier. Auto. Activate this skill when one of your Goku's lineage with an energy cost of 5 or more is removed from the battery area by opponent's skill. If you have no cards in your battery area, you may play, play this card from your hand. Okay, so they made a mistake. You may play play this card from your hand unless play play is a new mechanic. Oh, shit. But no, I, I'm pretty sure they made a, a mistake. Um, hopefully they fix that before they print the card. But... I like it. Very interesting. Um, let's dissect it because this card also has barrier. So barrier is already pretty overpowered. So any card that has barrier is already a threat. But now you activate this skill when one of your Goku lineage when energy costs five or more is removed from the battle area by an opponent's skill. So this is kind of really strong besides the swap eight which we're gonna have to get into that since i'm not too sure on what the swap mechanic is but in this video or in part two because this will be a probably a two to three part series so that it's not too long for you guys this seems very very interesting uh i i feel like this may be busted but we have to see what other Goku's energy cost 5 or see in general Goku lineage with energy 5 or more is removed. We have to see what other cards have this Goku's lineage on it. But I'm really interested in this effect. It punishes your opponent 
by them removing your battle cards. Because it says by opponent's skill. So, watch out. <laughs> you don't want to remove your opponent's cards, apparently. This is going to be very interesting and very devastating. I have to give this card already an 8 to 9 out of 10. Just because it has barrier. And it being a counterplay to potentially whatever your opponent can do. So, this will wrap up this part of the video. So far... What I reviewed, every card has been pretty darn good, except for the one Jin. She's a little eh, but overall, I'm liking it. So stay tuned for the next part, the next video. And as always, this channel is all about you.